What you're about to see illustrates one of the most common tasks for care workers, but one that exposes them to a safety risk. Care workers interact with residents and clients throughout the day. day, to day. Are you ready for breakfast? Ready to go fishing or have you got the fishing? Have you set up the chair? Uh, we'll get ready for breakfast, okay? We better get rolling if we're going to get that. We better get, get our, yeah. we got our fishing. Uh, okay. yeah. Can you stand up, please? I hope you got my fishing rod all set up, dude. Come on, let's go for breakfast. Breakfast? Come on, I don't want to go for breakfast. I don't, I, I don't want to go for breakfast. Come on, let's go for breakfast. We're going to get going fishing. We're going to get hungry. Fish. We're going to miss the fish. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go for breakfast. I want to go fishing. I don't want to go. I don't want to. I don't want to go. I don't want to. No. I don't want to go for breakfast. Because of the unique requirements of their job. Care workers are susceptible to violent attacks more often than those in other occupations. Though it's assumed that the incident was unprovoked and unexpected, the question is, how well have you been prepared to assess the risk and avoid injury? Let's go back and study the video again. As the care worker enters the resident's room, the supervisor does not communicate a change in his behavior and the need to apply a purple dot as part of the violence alert system. There are certain stressors which can trigger behavior. In this case, a sudden change of light while opening the curtains startles the resident. His hands are moving nervously. In addition, the resident refers to a fishing trip, reflective of his dementia. We better get rolling if we're gonna get the... Get the, the resident is becoming more agitated and confused, verbally refusing and physically resisting. Throughout this interaction, we hear a siren, which is a major stressor to the resident, causing him to become highly responsive. Notice here that the resident holds his cane in front of him and because the care worker is focused on assisting the resident into his wheelchair, he's unaware. In addition, the care worker is in a vulnerable position cornered with no escape route. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Yeah. I don't want to go for breakfast. All workers and supervisors have a shared responsibility to look out for one another and assist when there is the potential for injury. In this case, there was no follow-up despite the identified change in the resident's behavior. Violence-related workplace injuries in BC have a huge impact, both physically and mentally, on continuing care workers and their families. The point of care assessment was created to help you continuously assess the risk. There are four elements to it. What do you see and hear about the resident or client? Is the area safe? Does the task need to be done right now? Are you settled and ready? At Safe Care BC, we combine resources and training to support a safe work environment. We invite you to actively participate and be involved.